you know, especially in today's day and age where I think so much journalism is under fire and we're seeing the repercussions of it. Um, it is so hard to get a story published in which someone is accused of something. It's really, really difficult. And Jody and Megan were super forthcoming about how hard it was. That also felt really dramatic to me. Um, it's dramatic for obvious sort of timeline reasons and I'm building to an eventual publication. I think it's also dramatic emotionally because I don't know that people are computing that when you're in an investigative journalist and you have a ton of witness accounts and a lot of stories and you're carrying all of them, you may just have to carry them. They may not ever be able to leave your person. And in this case, I think that would have been really harrowing. And I think Jody and Megan were legitimately afraid of that. Like, what do you do if you know all these stories and you can't? You don't have enough to put it on the public record. They're just excellent humans, really, truly. I think they're at the top of their craft. Um, and then just kind of, I don't know, kismetly, cosmically something. They're also such good friends in real life. Um, it, it just, uh, it was kind of like getting a team at once, you know? And even though Jody and Megan didn't know each other before they started this investigation, I feel like the friendship between Carrie and Zoe um, just created such a wider berth and longer runway in which for them to play because they trusted each other so much. So they could, they just had a, they had a fluency with each other that, um, I'd never had that before in a movie. It was really beautiful to be around. Well, the, Jody and Megan made a very deliberate choice to not put themselves in the book, and I wanted to put them in the movie. Um, so in that they're not telling it, it's now someone else telling it, there was this sort of open column to fill that in, and I didn't think we'd ever seen that. Um, they were both uh, mothers of very young children, and Megan had struggled with postpartum and was really desperate to go back to work. I wanted to show that as well. And also, um, the absence of glamour. You know, you work really hard, you work late at night, you eat shitty takeout, you get in a cab or a subway, usually. You go back to your apartments in Brooklyn, you get up, you do it all over again. Uh, it's arduous. It's, it's genuinely, sort of Olympian level effort and work.